Holy final chapter, Batman. The Batmobile saga wraps up with an independent investigation by a retired judge that comes to a stunning conclusion. Now, the raid by San Mateo County Sheriff's investigators at an Indiana garage that builds Batmobiles should never have happened at all. I-team reporter Dan Noyes first broke the story last summer and is back with the latest. Here we go. Here we go. That's right. Korean and Amma. Now, this was a confidential report. The San Mateo County Board of Supervisors had to vote to make it public today, and I was there to see it come down. The San Mateo County attorney seemed to downplay the findings of the independent investigation performed by retired Alameda Superior Court Judge Winifred Smith. Can you outline in the report what went wrong? The, it's not, I guess I'm, I'm not trying to be cagey, but it's not in, eminently clear to me that anything went wrong per se. But a thorough read of the 47 pages confirms my reporting and reveals new details. Wealthy so Atherton realtor Sam Adagnostio called his friend, former Sheriff Carlos Bolanos, complaining that he hadn't received the $210,000 replica Batmobile he ordered from fiberglass freaks in Logansport, Indiana. The report says the sheriff took an Ignacio's call because he is acquainted with him. Ignacio is a local business person and a friend of the sheriff's brother. The sheriff referred the case to the head of his vehicle theft task force, even though this case did not fall within its mission. The head of the task force spent six months investigating and then took a crew of four department personnel to raid the Batmobile garage in Indiana. He never bothered to call you before showing up at your garage. Or having somebody else contact me either way yes so they, they never got your it. side of this right the report also points out before calling the sheriff Ed Ignacio tried to sue Mark Rakup but the judge dismissed it saying Indiana courts were the proper venue Judge Smith says the DA's office has a policy that complainants like Ed Ignacio who choose to resolve their disputes in civil court cannot avail themselves of the criminal justice system the raid and the fraud charges against Raycup, which were dropped after my reports, should never have happened. Public trust and, and policing and public safety requires the sheriff's office never be perceived in its use of police power to be influenced by private or political relationship. Raycup told me today the ordeal cost his business $350,000, he estimates, and it has taken a personal toll. He's going in for a mental health evaluation for PTSD. Because of this, if I see a sheriff's car go past, I freak. Even just for a moment, you know, it might only be 30 seconds or maybe even 15 seconds, but that's not me. In the meantime, he's making good progress on other Batmobiles. Ed Ignacio's is now three and a half years away from completion. I cannot believe that it's taking sometimes up to a year to get a chassis, and it's taking six months to get a drivetrain. It's, it's really crazy. So it adds up. Six months of an investigation, more than $10,000 to travel to Indiana for the raid, $55,000 to pay Judge Smith for her report. She concluded, ensuring the appropriate expenditure of public funds should always be of the highest priority. And that's the bottom line on this. A lot of money and a lot of time spent yeah. it appears for a personal favor by the sheriff to his friend. Wow. All right, Dan, thank you for that update and for the continued reporting following this story <laughs> Thanks, for many months.